Hi, I'm Shannon from TRSM Student Advising, and today I'll answer some common questions about dropping your courses in good academic standing. Links are provided in the description box below for more information. Let's get started. How do I know when I can drop a course? Check the significant dates on the undergraduate calendar to ensure that you add, drop, or swap courses by the published deadline and to remain in good academic standing. When dropping a course, you may receive a full refund, a 50% refund, or no refund, depending on the date and course load. You can see a full breakdown of undergraduate fees on the Registrar's website, linked in the description box. If you miss the deadline to drop in good academic standing, the drop will no longer be permitted. What impact does dropping a course have on my OSAP funding? There are financial implications of dropping a course if you are currently receiving OSAP funding. Make sure you understand these implications before dropping a course. To learn more, visit the Student Financial Assistance website. Under the OSAP Frequently Asked Questions tab, navigate to What impacts does dropping courses have on my OSAP assessment? If you still have questions or concerns, we recommend you speak with a Student Financial Assistance Advisor via the Service Hub. Also, if you are receiving out-of-province or U.S. student loans, please email funding at ryerson.ca to discuss the implications of dropping courses on your funding. Will dropping the course impact my renewable scholarship? To be eligible for a renewable scholarship, you must maintain a minimum course load of 80%, meaning four or more billing units, in both your fall and winter semester. You also must maintain a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.67 and have a clear academic standing. For the full requirements, visit the Student Awards and Scholarship website. If you are a first-year student and have further questions about your scholarship, you can email scholarship.inquiry at ryerson.ca. For all other inquiries about scholarships and awards, you can email awards at ryerson.ca. Will dropping this course allow me to focus more energy toward my other classwork? Ask yourself what is stopping you from achieving in this course and if that's impacting your other courses. Also, have you made use of the resources available to you, like your instructor's office hours and the TRSM Academic Success Center resources? Asking yourself these questions will help point you to your next steps. Will dropping the course relieve me from potential academic jeopardy? If your CGPA falls below 1.67 for the semester, that can place you on academic probation for your program. Some programs have special requirements, like the School of Accounting and Finance, so it's important to check the undergraduate calendar for your program to see those requirements. If you're already on probation for the semester, you need to achieve a 1.67 term GPA and meet all the requirements on your probationary contract. This is to clear your academic standing and avoid being withdrawn from your program. If you have questions about your probationary contract, speak with your student advisor. Will there be an opportunity next semester or in the summer to retake the course dropped? Some courses are only offered in specific semesters, so it is important when calibrating your academic plan to ensure that the course is offered for when you plan to take them. To see which courses are required for your program, visit your academic advisement report as well as the undergraduate program calendar. Then you can search on RAMS to confirm when these courses are offered. Remember, as an undergraduate student, you can also take courses through the Chang School to fulfill your degree requirements. To learn more about this, refer to the Chang School website. They have a web page to support undergraduate students taking Chang School courses to fulfill their degree requirements. Will delaying this course also delay any other enrollment? To answer this, it is important to know if the course you're considering to drop is a prerequisite for any other courses you plan to take next semester or in the near future. Course descriptions and their requirements can be referred to on the undergraduate program calendar. And that wraps up some common questions about dropping courses in good academic standing. Now, if you have further questions, I encourage you to search online through our abundant TRSM resources or reach out to your student advisor. You can contact us via the TRSM Student Advising website. Take care.